Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. 2-7-608-270-9933. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Pretty purple. I thought we needed a little perking up today because it's so gray out. This is a campanula or also called bellflower or canterbury bells. And it can be a perennial if you can get it to live through your through the rest of the winter in your house about, you know, mid-May, you can put it outside and plant it in your garden in a mostly sunny spot, good drainage though. Huh? But it blooms quite a long time. It's got tons of flower oh, yeah, buds on all, it. Yeah, look at these buds. Yeah, it's full Very of buds. Thanks for yep. bringing it. You're welcome. All right, let's go to Karen from Cambridge. Hi, Karen, what's your, what's your question? Yes, hi, good afternoon. I have a, a geranium that I, a hanging basket geranium that I brought in last fall. It's in a 12 inch pot. It's doing really well. It's in a south facing window. Um, it's about 17 inches wide and uh, no, 30 inches wide and 17 inches tall. I dropped a lot of leaves, of course, when it went into shock, but now everything's growing back again and it's even starting to bloom. I just want to find out what I should do to get it ready to go outside for the, for the summer. Well, you could start to acclimate it, Karen, when we get nicer days, like when we get those nice sunny days where it's like 50 outside, you could put it okay. outside for the day. Geraniums are pretty tough as far as temps are concerned, but you wouldn't want to have it be outside if nights are going to be below 40. So on nice days, just put it outside to get it to acclimate. You can start it in sort of a morning sun location. I wouldn't put it right out in the full sun. Morning sun location would be a little bit protected if we get a wind or a storm. And then I would say by mid-May, you can have it outside all the time. Okay. Now, should I cut it back at all or fertilize it? Or uh, You can or start fertilizing now, but if it gets really leggy, then yes, you can cut it back. Well, it's, it's, it's not the plant it was when I bought it a year ago, but um, it's, it's quite large, but it, it, the leaves are lighter green and not the dark, dark green that yeah. it was. It's not and, getting uh, enough sunlight inside. So once you get yeah. outside, once you get it outside, it'll perk the color. Well, if I, if I don't cut it back, I mean, how big is it going to get? I mean, it's gigantic. Well, it'll just keep growing. But if it's leggy, I would go ahead and just give it a quick twi a trim. Okay, let's go to Peggy in Monona. Hi, Peggy, what's your question? Hi, um, I have a proton plant and it has uh, spots on the bottoms of the leaves and those spots kind of uh, make something look looks like a caterpillar, but it's not. Anyway, I'm wondering what they are and how I could get rid of them. Peggy, I'm going to have you take some photos of the spots and email them to us at the plant desk. It's plantdesk at brucecompany.com. Sort of hard to diagnose disease or insect issues um, without me seeing it. Okay. So if you send those photos, we'll take a look at it and then we'll answer you over the email. All right, sounds good. Diane in Fall River. Hi, Diane, what's your question? Uh, yes, I have uh, daffodils that started to break through the soil the end of January. So they're really getting ahead of themselves. And I wonder if I should be covering them or something. To discourage them from growing you can use some mulch if you've got some mulch hanging around to cover them with that I wouldn't use pots or or cloth or anything like that um, but it won't hurt them daffodils are pretty tough and so as long as you don't see flower buds start to develop the plant will be fine and even if you do get some flower bud development you might get the flowers might be nipped back but the bulb itself is really protected and will be fine for the long for okay. the long term all right let's go to barb in mineral point hi barb what's your question hi i have an asparagus um, plant that or Lisa. that Lisa had told me earlier to fertilize, put fertilizer on it, and I didn't. I cut it back, but I didn't put the fertilizer on. What can I do? Is it too late? Is this is this a fer, is this an asparagus bed outside, or is this an asparagus I'm, fern I'm that sorry. you have? I, 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 I said it was a plant, but it's outside asparagus. Okay, so they are heavy feeders. So you cut them back. You can still put some fertilizer down this spring. Once the snow is off the bed, you can just get some organic uh, broadcast fertilizer for uh, veg beds, and that will be fine. And, and we have to remember it's only March 1st. It is, yeah, well, in not even days. in a couple days, but yes, it is early. It is early. Yeah. All right, we are out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. This will talk to you off the air. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah.